Hi, I'm Emily and today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome shrink eating book cover necklace. You can also make other symbols. I made a Hogwarts crest, an owl post crest, a Deathly Hollow symbol, a dark mark, a small Severus snake, a Weasley is our king badge, another Hunger Games symbol, a Harry Potter book cover, and a Harry Potter broomstick. To make these book cover necklaces, you're going to need shrinky ink paper, we're using Klutz brand, some colored pencils, a thin sharpie, some jewelry glue, a bale, and a necklace cord. If you don't have bales, then you can just use a hole punch and a jump ring. You will also need to print out a picture of your favorite book cover. I'm using one that's 2 inches by 3 inches, but keep in mind it's going to shrink a lot once you bake it. First, I'm gonna cut out my shrinky dink paper. So I'm just gonna trace my book cover. And cut it out. Now you're gonna trace your book cover. So you're just gonna take the shrinky dink paper, and this is very important. Make sure it's shiny side up because you'll notice there's like a really rough side and the shiny side. Put that on top and just start tracing. So what you do is you're gonna like outline it with black marker on the front side of it, the shiny side. Then you're gonna color it in with colored pencil on the back. I'm finished tracing now, so now I'm going to flip it over and color it in. Place your shrinky dink on a pie plate. The flatter the pie plate, the better. Make sure your shrinky dink is rough side up. looks like now that it's out of the oven. Now you're gonna attach your bale. You need to use a strong glue like this Dazzletack jewelry glue or E6000 because you don't want it to fall off. Put a small dab of it on your bale.
and then attach it to the center. You'll want to press down on your shrinky dink and then let it dry. Now add your cord and there you have your finished necklace.